Women have to be protected and respected, part 8 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on August 24th, 25th and 27th, 2021. Warning, sensitive content. The Americans, for 20 years, they stay in Afghanistan, even just 20 years. But at least in this span of time, they give the Afghan the freedom that they seek, the education that they long for, for the woman, yes. and, the, and the safety feeling for little girls. Yes. I don't like shoulders because they represent war. I'm scared whenever she gives me shivers when I see the men in uniform. I'm not for war. I know the war was like people just dying everywhere. Blood rushing like river. I've been living through that too. With not enough food, not enough clothing, don't know if you die or live tomorrow. I don't like war. I hate war. I don't like shoulders, but at least these 20 years, the African woman, no freedom, yeah. no respect, and no safety, especially for little girls who don't worry, they come to, to be kidnapped and sent away anywhere, they don't even know where, to be some sex slave at the tender age of 12. Imagine that. <laughs> they must. terrible. Their children, they have the right to leave their childhood. Not to go to have sex, or to be a sex slave, or anybody of these killers, killer men, and then marrying children, and then maybe die after that. This is not a life where children go, you understand me? No, it's, it's, cannot so, be. Yeah, so at least in 20 years, many Americans think it's a waste of money and time. I do also think like that. Because money spending on war is a waste, a big waste. Mm. But in this case, for 20 years, even they don't fight, they don't do anything. Their presence assures the Afghans, especially women and little girls, that they are safe. Yes. That they, they are free. They can go to school, they can go to college, they can go to play football, whatever they want, or they can go to watch games, and they can watch TV. Yeah. They can sing when they feel happy, they can dance around when they feel yes. gladdened in their hearts. Right. Now all that is gone. <laughs> yeah. So they just run after strangers like that, mm. trusting their lives into the hands of the American shoulders. All this I cannot cry enough. <laughs> <laughs> I have to thank the American in the name of the Afghan for 20 years long. They tasted some freedom and trust and safety, even though it was not totally. Yeah. But yeah. the majority, they tasted some freedom. Yes, they did. They tasted human dignity right. and womanhood. Yeah. And now it seems like they have nothing. Yeah. All they do is just hide inside their homes. <laughs> and their hearts are pounding whenever they are here, knocking on the door, because it could mean that their lives end oh. when the door opens, forced or, yes. or voluntarily. I don't like this kind of life. Imagine it was you, leaving your house, you don't feel safe, leaving your own country, yes. to fear for your life. Cannot imagine. Yeah, have the face that God gave you cannot show, mm. cannot breathe freely. Yes. The fresh air outside. <sighs> I don't like this kind of life. I don't like this kind of style. I don't care what propaganda they make or anything they say. If their own people cannot trust them, how can other nations trust them? Yes. I just hope there will be no more war there. <sighs> 
Yeah. Because if the Western people are pushed too hard, and if the people in Afghanistan are, are murdered or tortured too much, and if the people in that land cry for help, then maybe the heroism will be awakened again in the in the Western army yeah. soldiers, you know, with their human quality. They might come again. Yes. And it might be war again. Oh. No matter what. Because imagine they went there to risk their life in the Kabul airport. It's all empty. Yeah. There's nowhere for the Americans to hide. No. They came with just uh, some guns, that's all. Guns in their hands. There's nothing, no bomb, no nothing to protect them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They came truly with goodwill mm -hmm. just to, to take the Americans out and the Afghans who have been working for them. Right. Uh, I cannot cry enough for this world. It's just too much for my little heart. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your Anything love. Anything you want to tell me or any comment you can tell me? Um, not really. Just, um... <laughs> Sorry, making you cry too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I, even though I'm not involved, I, I also just so much appreciate Americans. And... Yeah. Yeah. They came from all far away yes. to fight all this war all these times. <laughs> War is terrible anyway, but on the other hand, they cannot just turn their blind eyes. Yeah, no knowing that the women are being harassed, being molested, children are being mm. raped and molested, women are being tortured, killed, or in prison for nothing. Yes, master. Just because they they want freedom, they want to become a doctor or engineer, architect, or even police woman, professor, mm. teacher, and all that. That's yeah. all they want, or they just want to be a normal mother with a loving husband and children around them yes. until their hair turn gray together. Mm. They don't want war, they don't want to kill anybody, they don't do any harm to anyone. Yeah. Just because they're women, they can be harassed or tortured or molested or raped any time. Yes. <laughs> what so kind of country is that? What kind of... What kind of so-called regime or leader is that? Must be from hell. <laughs> I pray for the country. I pray for that country. I pray for the yeah, woman. We, we pray also, Master. I, I just hope they turn their heads, their, their hearts. This brutal regime must change. They must change or they won't stay long. They, they cannot survive long. Sooner or later, they have to go. This kind of regime is against people. The the regime, the government is supposed to take care of people. You right. understand? Here, yeah. here. Not only they don't take care, they torture women, rape children, anytime, anywhere they want, just because they have guns. Uh, this horrible. is this is it's not human. You understand me? Yeah, it's not. Real humans don't do that. No. Real macho men don't do this kind of low life stuff. <laughs> really low life. It's really oh. beyond any humane. No. <laughs> Quite. Yes. Not human. No. Not human. Not human. Not human. <laughs> don't what kind of blood is running in their veins. Now you know why I'm angry. Huh? I'm not just angry, I'm in pain for them. You yes, understand yes, me? I understand. It, it sounds like hell to me. Yeah, it does. On August 25th, 2021, Master conveyed her thoughts on the news that the Taliban was not allowing any more Afghans to leave the country. I think the Taliban should let the Afghans and Americans out of Afghanistan. Mm. Because if you want to rule, why should you keep your enemies around? Mm. Just to have like a ticking bomb, it's not very wise to stop your so-called enemies from running out of the country. Just let them go. Good for them. Good for you. Then after seeing the tragic news from Kabul, Afghanistan, in which many Afghans, Americans and members of the Taliban lost their lives on August 26, 2021, Master shared her pain 
and tearful sorrow with us, plus this message for the inflictors. Whoever carries such attacks on innocent children and women, old and young men also, are cowards, barbarians, working for evil, working for Satan. They are also the enemies of Islam because they make the world people think Islam is violent, Islam is murderous. They are not Muslim. They are the enemies of Muslims. Just going out anywhere and killing people at random when people are not prepared, unarmed people like that. They're not Muslim. They don't make any statement. They don't make people understand anything. Just killing people doesn't make anybody understand you. You have to tell people what you want. What is it that is wrong with you or with anybody? I mean, in Kabul, people are already getting out of Afghanistan, of the country. They're not doing anything anymore there. His deal is signed. They just want to get out. And anybody who just organizes an attack like that is evil. I repeat again, they are the enemy of Islam because the blessed prophet, peace be upon him, the Quran doesn't tell people to kill anybody at random like that when they're not doing anything wrong to you. You are the infidels, not those innocent people at the airport. It's not the U.S. Marines or soldiers. They're just doing their job. They have to. They have to protect the people there who are just trying to get out of the country. They're not doing anything wrong to anybody. So the attackers are the enemies of everyone, of the world, especially the enemies of the Muslims because they blacken the Muslims' reputation. They make people think Muslims are bad. Muslims are the people whom you cannot trust, the people who are killers, the people who are cowards, killing the innocents everywhere, not just Kabul airport. It's not the first time. It's not the Kabul airport alone. Just sneaking around and killing everybody like that. That's not Muslim. You are the enemy of Muslims. You are evil. You are the infidels. Stop doing all this. Stop You're trying to convince people that you are good. Nobody believes any of the things that you say. Nobody believes you. Nobody wants to follow Islam either. If you keep doing this, how do people even dare to come to the Muslim community or want to know the Muslims? What for? Huh? So that they can become killers, murderers like you? No way. You will all go to hell because that's not the teaching of Islam. Islam means peace. Continue like this. We never have peace in the world because of you because of people like you. For your information, the suicide bombers went to hell and whoever are behind these attacks or any of such similar atrocities will go to deeper hell. They're all waiting for you. All the possible hells are waiting for you. Accordingly, I say this in the name of God, in the name of the must beloved Allah, and in the name of the great prophet, peace be upon him, and the innocent people you killed all went to heavens, different heavens, and you go to different hells. And that is the truth, because no one who harms the children of God the way you do will ever go to heaven. You will be staying in hell forever. The victims who died, the American soldiers who died, they went to heaven because they had only love and sympathy while they were on duty. Thus they are rewarded heaven. You and the bombers only had hatred in your heart and the false belief that you go to heaven. No way! In all my honor, I tell you, no way you go to heaven. No way they went to heaven. No, never. In the name of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him forever. I'm warning you to stop all these atrocities. 
Otherwise, you will never get out of hell. You will suffer multifold, more, much more than the pain and sorrow you inflicted upon the innocent people, the children and the women and the elderly and all that. Stop all that. Stop it. Stop it now and forever. Stop it. For peace sake, for the love of God, stop all that. Go get a normal job like these people. We just want to be normal human beings. Repent. So God will forgive you. Repent before it's too late.